You want a hand, Uncle Mac? Oi! Thanks. Hey. Do me a favor, will you? Yeah? Stop calling me Uncle Mac. Yes, Uncle Mac. Boxer! Just dump them now. Boxer! <sighs> cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. Provide a young boxer some milk, eh? Uh, kitchen's through there. You put the kettle on, I shall make a phone call, okay? Have you been over there? Yeah, we've been just right before. Right before that bug come out, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Right. Right. Look, he's back. Hey, right, come on in. Right. No luck? No, there's nobody there. Listen, I'm going to have to forget about the tea, get myself over there, see what's happening. I will sort a room out for you when I get back, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Stop. Boxer! Mac. How are you? Nice right. to see you. Good, nice. Right, where is it then? What? This wee camel that you promised to bring back for the baby. Oh, yeah, the camel, yeah. Well, I got it as far as the airport, and then it just took the ump. Oh, good. Yeah. Come here, don't be shy. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim. Hello, 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 hello. So where's Elaine then? Where's the baby? Well, they're all fine for starters, and uh, Elaine likes it out there so much that she's going to stay on for a bit. Uh, this is Caroline, by the way. Hi. Hi. My uh, sister's daughter, and she is over here doing Europe, as they say. I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, and I'll see you later. Oh, Matt, before you go, can't you tell us? Tell you what? About what's going on at United. Yeah. Why don't you uh, ask me again when I've tracked down the chairman? You mean you don't know what's going on, right? Wrong? That's not what I mean. Who are you anyway? You can call me Hawk. Everybody else does. Hawk? Oh, I see! When you get mad, you bust your britches, eh? Don't think like that. See you later. Great. You're Thanks. You're welcome. You're a boxer, right? You are staying here at the moment. That's right, yeah. I know you're the Hulk. What about the rest of you? Um, I'm Jenny. You can call me Pac-Man. Yeah, and I'm Wurzel. So that's uh, Boxer, Hulk, Wurzel, Pac-Man, Jenny. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, they warned me to be a bit different from Sydney. <laughs> See any games in before you go back? No, not if I can help it. You what? Soccer's all right, I suppose. I've got nothing against it. I've got nothing against knitting either. Just as long as nobody expects me to pay to watch it. Mac, are you listening to this? Hey, but you've got to make allowances, boxer. I mean, she is an Aussie, right? And proud of it. <laughs> Look, I know what I'm saying is probably blasphemous. But I think that soccer is embarrassing. Embarrassing? Yeah. All those grown men with permed hair, dancing up and down, waving their arms in the air every time the referee does something they don't happen to agree with. <laughs> and then there's the snogging that goes on. I mean, right there on the field. Snogging? Yeah. What else can you call it when you see these blokes run half the length of the field to kiss one another? Just because somebody scored a goal. They'll be going on carrying handbags next. No, we don't go in for that sort of thing in rugby, I can tell you. Oh, I see. You're a rugby fan then, are you? A rugby league, actually. That's the big game in Sydney. Yeah, well, trust us you'd have a game like that as its national sport, eh, Mac? We can play soccer too when the fancy takes us. Why, well, that's a laugh. Yeah, it was. Especially about a year ago when your Bobby Robson brought England over to play us. What was the scoreline again? One... One? Yeah, it was one one, wasn't it? But uh, that was a fluke. Yeah, we thought we were robbed as well. Mac, are you just going to sit there and let her come out with this stuff? I mean, under your very roof. 
Got to admit, boxer, I thought uh, she had a point there, actually. What? Well, I thought England were very lucky to get away with a draw there myself that day. Oh, I forgot. You're about as unbiased as she is, aren't you? I don't know what you mean. I thought Australia were lucky as well. Yeah, lucky? Yes, well, it was England that were playing, and not Scotland. Oh, you're going to hit him or will I? Well, when you do, make sure you get him in the head. No way that's going to do him any harm at all. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just, uh, just a little bit of disillusioned, that's all. Why? Is that Mrs. Masters? When I met her for the first time, I took her for being straight as a die. I just don't understand how she could have gone along with selling her shares to somebody like Chalmers. Well, then again, Mac, perhaps she doesn't go along with it. What are you talking about now? Well, perhaps she doesn't even know that her shares are going to go to Chalmers. Why shouldn't she? Well, why should she? Unless Ronnie Wright has told her. And let's face it, he's hardly likely to do that, is he? Not if he thinks that there's a chance that, well, she could suddenly turn awkward with him about it. Do you know something? You might just have a point there, Boxer. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe she's not supposed to find out until it's too late. That's right. Thank you. I shall go and see what our beloved chairman has to think. Oh, Matt, you haven't forgotten you're picking my dad up at the airport at 12. I haven't forgotten. I shall be back in plenty of time. Just make sure that you are here, OK? Bye. Yeah, see you later, Matt. Bye.